Hello everyone, my name is Valerie Sheehan and I have been invited by Meath County Council Library Service to read you a few stories so I'm very excited. I'm not here by myself actually, I brought my friend Tony with me. So for those of you who don't know Tony, he's a little turtle as you can see, see his shell here? And Tony, he sometimes feels and sees things a little bit different to other little turtles. So if it's too loud, you know, if things are really, really loud and it hurts his ears, he likes to go into a shell, just like this. If people talk too quickly and they say too many words, like, oh, like this, oh, Tony goes into a shell. Do you know what helps him when it's nice and calm? And sometimes if we use pictures along with our words, then Tony understands better. And he's so much happier when he understands because he can see the picture and he can hear the word. So it really helps Tony. So Tony goes on lots of different adventures and I wrote some stories for Tony. So I'm gonna let you hear some of those. So we're gonna start with the first Tony story, which is Tony goes shopping. So I'm gonna put Tony down for a minute and we're gonna take out the book so you can all see the book. So here it is, Tony goes shopping. Up here it is written by Valerie Sheehan, which is my name, and illustrated by Susan Meany. So illustrated means Susan is the lady who drew all the lovely pictures. So I hope you enjoy it. So I'll put it this way so make sure everybody can see. Tony opens his eyes and he stretches out wide. He hears mommy calling, so he decides to hide. Oh, good, I'm going to go this way so that you can see properly. So it's a little bit sunny out there. Now, that's better. Mum comes upstairs with a smile on her face. Oh no, where's Tony? Has he flown off to space? <gasps> Just then the blankets begin to wiggle and Mum is sure she hears a giggle. <laughs> Where do you think Tony is? Out pops Tony from his hiding place with a big grin on his little face. Mum makes Tony laugh as only she can. They go downstairs and they check the day plan. So here's a little day plan. It's like what I was telling you about the pictures and the word help Tony because he likes to know what's coming next in the day. So having a day plan helps the day run smoothly. Tony feels safe and isn't so moody. It's hard for Tony to find the words he should say when things don't always go his way. Oh, sometimes it's easier to hide in his shell, just like this, he's hiding in the shell again, and stay in there until he feels well. Tony listens to mum and to dad and they help him out of his shell if he's feeling sad. Tony's sister Tess is already downstairs Come on, says mum, up on your chairs. Let's eat our breakfast and then we shall see what's on the day plan before TV. Tony loves the TV. Uh-oh, when mum said shopping, Tony's face fell and he tried to retreat into his shell. Out you come, Tony, and listen to me. Because first we're going shopping then we can watch TV. So now it's easier for Tony to understand. He can see the picture. So first he has to do what mom wants to do, but then he gets to watch the TV. I bet you all do that too at home. You do what mom says first. Yeah, or dad, yeah. Shopping in five minutes, mom calls from upstairs. Tony and Tess crawl off their chairs. Tony likes a time warning because it helps him be ready. Out to the car they go, slow and steady. Oh wow! Oh, the supermarket is bright. It hurts Tony's eyes, there's so much light. And the noise all around him hurts his ears and brings poor Tony close to tears. Oh, poor Tony. Once again, he wants to go into his shell. But mom had a plan to make him feel well. Here is a list. Just for you, you must find three. So let's listen to the clues and see if you can guess. 
one thing gets hot. Now see if you can see the list. One thing is cold. The other smells nice. And it's, I mean, it's heavy to hold. What do you think that could be? So there's a piece of chicken, there's an ice cream, and there's some washing powder. Tony loves the smell of the washing powder. But it is heavy to hold, isn't it? Tony is so busy playing Mum's special game that he forgets the noise, and now he's glad he came. Walking slowly along with Mum and Tess, Tony is happy, so he worries less. When Mum stops to chat to someone she knows, Tony feels a bit anxious and he wants to go. Mum tells Tony not to worry because she's just saying hello and she will hurry. When someone says hello, Tony, we look in their eyes. It makes no difference what their size. It's always nice to be polite. I know you can do it because it's right. So mummy's explaining to Tony, but she also means as well, you just, you can have just a quick look at somebody. You don't have to stay looking at the person because that might hurt Tony if he has to stay looking. So a quick look is okay. Then it's time to queue up at the till. Again, Tony doesn't really like it when he has to stand still. Tony began to feel a little agitated, but again, oh my goodness, again, mum came to the rescue and she had a plan for them while they waited. Mum tells Tony to count the trolleys he can see, while Tess counts the people. One, two, three. Everything in now. Oh, everything in except the ham. They forgot the ham. Keep counting, Tony, because it helps you stay calm. So when Tony is counting over and over, it helps him feel nice and relaxed. So mum knows that's a trick that works for Tony. Back in the car, the shopping complete. It's time to go home and rest their feet. Everyone is happy as shopping went well and Tony managed to stay out of his shell. He looks happy in the car, doesn't he? I think he knows what's happening when he goes home. I wonder if any of you remember who are listening to the story. Who can remember what's next on the plan? Can Tony watch TV now? Yes, he can. And he can because first he had to go shopping and then the shopping was finished and on the plan it said, then after shopping, it was time to watch TV. So I hope you all enjoyed Tony Goes Shopping. That was Tony's first story, but we have lots more to come. But we'll finish for that one for today. So thank you everyone for listening and I'll see you soon. Bye.